Hello everyone, I'm Patrick Hamilton, and today we're going to discuss a little bit about Nicola Sabatini. So let's just dive straight into a little bit of history behind the man. So, according to the Encyclopedia Britannia, he was born in 1574 and he died in 1654. He was an Italian architect and engineer, known mostly for his manual for constructing scenes and machines in the theater. So basically, this guy was a straight beast when it came to technical theater. Through this manual, he wrote all of these concepts and ideas that hadn't even really been discussed yet. But today, we're going to focus just a little bit on some of his lighting techniques. So let's discuss lighting a little bit. According to Encyclopedia.com, we are stuck straight up in the 16th century. No electricity, no lighting, basically all theatrical lighting was just candles. So before Sabatini's manual, there was really no concept of, of changing the lighting or different techniques. But once this came out, he discussed different ideas for developing footlights and techniques for colored lighting, and also one of my favorites, his technique for dimming lighting. So this diagram is Sabatini's device for dimming candles. And this picture is actually taken right from his book, Manual for Constructing Scenes and Machines in the Theater. So basically, as you can see, A and B are the stage lighting. Those are the candles. Then we go up just a little higher to where C and G and D and H are. These two are basically hollowed out cylinders. These will be used to drop over the candles and dim away some of the light. As we go up a little further to E and F, we see that they're attached to ropes that go completely up to I and K. I and K are two pulley systems. So basically this entire concept revolved around being able to dim the lights simultaneously. This was something that really was never before done. So these ropes wrapped around I and K and went down to M, which was one single rope. This is where the simultaneous part comes in. You basically could have a stage hand down at the end at letter L. They could pull this rope or let it go and this basically would either raise the cylinders or lower them. Basically if you pulled it, it would raise them up, you get a little bit more of the light and it would be a little brighter. If you lower down the cylinders, that's where you get your dimming from. So here is a model that I made of Sabatini's device for dimming candles. Basically right here, just as in the picture I just showed, candle A and candle B. So basically these are where your light sources are. This is the theatrical lighting. These right here, basically I used pots as my cylinder. So these are just normal planar pots that I painted and attached. And right up here is the rope um, that attaches through. I used these plant hangers as my pulley system and basically the rope goes through the the cylinders through the pulleys down and attaches on the back to one single rope so just as this concept was you basically can move this rope up or down and it moves these cylinders up and down over the candles this changes the light to give you a little bit more light or a little less depending on what effect that you want to give throughout the theater now just to really nail this concept in I'll actually light the candles and show you exactly the difference between the dimming and show you how this device works. Right now the rope is pulled down so the cylinders are up. As I lo raise the rope up the cylinders come down and it dims the lights. As I pull the rope down it lightens up the room just a little bit more. Now these basically are just tea light candles that I used but I think you get the concept. So in chapter 7 of our history book, it explains a little bit of this device and a little bit of lighting during the 16th century. So basically, there were some just single candles, but most of these were placed all on one chandelier. Um, so there would be a couple of chandeliers throughout the theater space over the stage, and that would basically be the lighting. So these would basically be around in a circle, and these cylinders would be all around it. So basically it would go around and then in between in the center would be the rope for you to be able to pull. 
um, up or down, which would allow for the cylinders to drop over the candles, as you just saw. Um, also, there was not only candles, but also oil lamps. Just turns out that the candles were just a little bit more popular due to the lack of smoke and the scent uh, compared to the oil lamps. The oil lamps put off a little bit more of a haze and a little bit more smoke, and they also didn't smell quite as ple pleasant as these candles here. Now let's review just a little bit. So Niccolo Sabatini, think we could all agree he's a pretty cool dude. At least his concepts were. So basically, this entire manual for constructing scenes and machines in the theater kind of paved the way for things to come. Paved the way for dimming. Paved the way for uh, colored lighting, for footlights. Not all these concepts he completely came up with himself, but they all were illustrated and written about in this book. This book was distributed out and it basically made for further ideas and further concepts that just built upon each other and created more or less a little bit more of the idea of theater that we have today. For those of you who are interested, here's a closer look of my model of Sabatini's device for dimming candles. Here's a little close up of the model. So basically we have the two candles and the two pots that I turned into the cylinders. As you can see the top, those are the planter hooks that I use as the pulley system. And then we'll go just a little bit behind here where you could see the rope and pulley system. I'll have it attached to one single screw right here. That's basically how I'm holding it together. And like I explained a little earlier, basically you use that rope to lower the cylinders over the candles and raise them up above to change the lighting. Well, folks, I believe that just about wraps it up for today. I hope that you all have enjoyed this video and enjoyed the model that I've made of Niccolo Sabatini's device for dimming candles. I look forward to seeing all of your projects, and I look forward to seeing you all this upcoming semester. Please enjoy the rest of your break. I'll see you soon.